Hi everybody, Rist here. I'm here to talk about the PBE changes and uh, why Banner of Command might be purchased more if these changes go through to some extent. Uh, they're pretty darn drastic and I don't know if Riot's going to tinker with it or even revert these changes, but I'm just going to showcase why this could be very, very ridiculous, especially when you combine Banner of Command with Baron buff. So let me go ahead and get this Baron really quickly. One second. Any moment now. Gotta love the practice tool. Okay, cool. So now I have Baron. Let me go ahead and toggle the minions. Let me get a cannon mini wave so I can showcase why Banner of Command might be very, very viable if this uh, th these changes go through. So we're going to wait for a cannon mini wave. I'm just going to let the video speak for itself. Hey, look at that. Just on time. So uh, the cannon minion, which I promote uh, with Banner of Command, or I like to call mini mask on my stream, uh, basically gets a truckload of attack damage. And on top of that, when you combine it with the Baron buff, the cannon minion gets a ridiculous long ranged auto attack. Now for those of you who don't know uh, StarCraft and Brewboard, there's this unit in the game called Siege Tanks where you can basically just protect a Siege Tank and it will slowly dismantle enemy's base. Well guess what guys, guess what? We're getting Siege Tanks in League of Legends. Isn't it great? Oh it's so so great. Alright so we're just gonna let this thing push. Uh, this thing has splash damage too by the way so this thing will just naturally plow through waves. But you guys can see the long range that this thing has. Yeah, it's pushing the way pretty quickly. Uh, just you wait until we start uh, taking down these towers here. Yeah, so this is the uh, this is the siege the siege minion uh, with the Baron buff and Banner of Command guys. Now you guys might be thinking, okay, well it's just a cannon minion. You, the enemy teams have counterplay because you could just go ahead and get rid of it. Well, the thing about the Banner of Command minion is that not only does it get a truckload of armor, its health gets increased too, but this thing is completely immune to magic damage, which means that teams don't have to risk the endangerment of uh, tower diving to basically secure games. What they can do is basically just protect this thing, let it slowly push, and just decimate towers. I mean, you guys saw the damage. This is a tier two. Let's take a look. Oh, that is, that is so spicy. That is so, so spicy. Yeah, new, new, new players are just gonna love this eye. Uh, Love this item when they get Baron. I mean, they're rushing the 20-minute Baron team comps with Nunu. This is what's going to happen, guys. They're going to get Banner of Command. And let's, let's just go ahead and blood boil this thing. Let's go ahead and speed up the process, you know, because we're just making this whole spice here. Oh, my goodness. Look at that. Imagine if you had two of them. Oh, my goodness. Riot Games, what have you done? <laughs> oh, my goodness. Yeah, so, um... Yeah, this is it, guys. We actually, we, we, I actually see Banner of Command, uh, if these changes go through. Yeah, just protect these cannon minions, you don't even have to dive anymore, just let them just take the base. Oh my goodness, that, that is so... I, I don't even know what to say. Oh, and there's the Nexus, I didn't even have a chance to talk about that. Well, um, there you have it, guys. Um, siege tanks are uh, basically coming to you. Uh, go, go Terrans.